Oh my god, 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 oh my god! I just gave birth! I didn't even know of it! What? Oh god. Um, okay. Um, I don't want to freak her out. I don't want to spring it on her just out of nowhere. I want to sit her down and actually give her a talk about this, okay? Oh. Hey, sweetie. What's up? You had a dream about moving into a cave. Can't say that's a good idea, but maybe when you're older, you can go caving with me. Oh, a package was delivered today? Are you sure? Do you think it's from Cole? You want to go see what it is? Hey. Come on, let's go see what's in it. Oh, oh, look at him. Look at Chadwick. He has been so helpful with the garden. Granted, he's kind of butchering my layout. He's replanting carrots everywhere. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go in and fix it. But um, it's the thought that counts, right? I mean, he's been so sweet. Kind of too sweet, actually. I think he's putting the moves on me, Loki. Um, but anyways, let's see what's in the mailbox. <laughs> it is. It's a package from Cole. Let's go inside and open it. All right. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Look at all the goodies your father sent us. Okay, let's see. Hi. You want these cookies? <gasps> yeah, they're, are they yummy? <laughs> Oh, she loved those cookies. Oh my gosh. He sent some practical gifts as well. Things to keep us getting by. And he sent a letter. I'm going to read this first. I'm not going to read it aloud to Sandy because in case it's something that's not good for her ears because she's kind of young. Hey. Um, why don't you go play, hey. sweetie? Hi. Yes, hello. Um, we're going to go ahead and read this. I'm not sure how to start this letter. Maybe I should start by telling you I love you, but I have a lot on my mind. You adopted Sandy so readily. You kind of showed me how ready you are to be a mother. Marriage is one thing, but children is another. And we never really talked about children. I guess when you built such a big house, I should have known there was room in your heart for so much love. But me? I'm still not sure what kind of life I want to live. All I know is I just want you in it. No matter where I decide to go, I want you there with me. However, I'm not so sure I want Sleekwind to be my forever home. I guess I just assumed you felt the same? I mean, you settled in the first place you came across. Surely you aren't satisfied with living in Sleekwind for the rest of your life. And as for Sandy, she probably remembers her real parents. She won't ever truly accept you as her mother. Let someone else take on the burden of the girl and meet me at Mutevale when you're ready for our adventures. With love, Cole. What? The heck? He basically just straight up disowned any semblance of fatherhood to Sandy. So what, now it's choosing between Sandy or Cole? Between a life here in Sleekwind and a life with Cole? That's not... No! I never agreed to that. That's just not right. How could he do that? How could he think that I could do that? Just leave her behind? Let the people of the village take care of her. Let her be their problem, as he's basically putting it. Ugh. Sandy in the room. No, I was hoping that I could give her the talk about the baby. I should probably go tell Chadwick, though, because I feel like he should know with how supportive he's been. <laughs> oh, we got, we got beef going on up there, apparently. <laughs> I heard a lot of construction this morning, so I don't know what's been... Oh, hey, Chadwick. Oh. Hi. Um, can I talk with you? Good evening. Yeah, um, hey, wait up. I need, I need to talk with you, please. Um... L listen, 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 listen. Hello. My body feels so sore after today. I feel like I can sleep like a log. <sighs> yeah, I get that. Um, but it's it's kind of important. How am I? Um, yeah, about that. I just gave birth. Hello. God, he puts his sleep above everything else. Maybe Rayleigh can understand. Maybe, maybe. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god! I'm 
sorry. I'm just barging into their house. Are they home? Yep, they're home. Okay. Hi. Baby Indy. Oh, so Lyra was pregnant. Girl, same. <laughs> Apparently. Um, she just gave birth a while ago and didn't tell nobody. Um, to be fair, I didn't neither, but I wish I could have told myself. But that letter Cole sent operates under the assumption that... Oops. Oh, good Jeeves. We need to light up this area a little more to, like, hopefully repel the mo all the monsters. <laughs> I have a headache. Hello? Look at the kids sleeping all soundly. I'm such a creeper just walking into their house at night. Um, at night, guys. <laughs> Woo! Mute veil, huh? Well, Cole is operating under the assumption that we are not having children. That ship has sailed, okay? Apparently, I got pregnant on our honeymoon and didn't know it. He didn't know it. I didn't know it. That's not his fault. But it's also his fault that he is just now deciding he doesn't want children. That is his fault. Because he married me. And I thought I made it pretty clear that I wanted children. Oh, hi. Sorry. I did your job for you. Maybe go have a snack or something. And go take a break. I should probably go check and make sure Sandy's in bed. Um, I don't know why that didn't even dawn on me. There she is. Night, Sandy. Maybe Chadwick can watch Sandy for a couple days. Because if Cole is in Mute Vale, I know where he is. And I can go meet up with him and talk to him. Because obviously we've got a lot to talk about. Um, hey Chadwick, I need you to... Okay. I need you to come stay at the house for a little bit. We've got a guest bedroom that you can stay in for a while. Okay. Yeah, see, it's, 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 it's decent. It's probably actually better than what you're used to, honestly. He understands. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I just need someone to keep an eye on for Sandy while I go and get this sorted out with Cole. Because I gave birth. And like you said, it's no longer just about me. It's about my children. So I need to lay everything down on the table for Cole to see, so that he can decide if he wants to leave me, I guess. And as much as I hope that he'll decide to come home, it doesn't sound like he's going to. But I also don't want him to be like, oh. you know, I don't want him to be unhappy here, because I do love him. I just, I love this town too. I don't want to leave. I am satisfied with life here. Cole may think it's insane that I am, but I am. I'm gonna go get some sleep, and hopefully Cole will be helping me name our son. Good night, Chadwick. <sighs> Good morning, cutie. I should probably say bye to Sandy before I leave. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> Hi, yes. Hi. I have to go. I know, I know. I'll I'll play with you when I get back, okay? But I need to go find Cole. I don't think I'm going to be coming home with him, but I certainly hope I am. Yeah, I know, I know. I love you too. Okay, and you can go play, and I will be back just before you know it. It should only be one to two days. Gosh, I'm so anxious. I really hope... Ooh, danger. Baby on board. I feel like I'm about to get my heart broken. And I only have myself to blame. You know what? No. It's not just my fault. Cole is just as responsible. He should never have married me. Well, great. <sighs> Still hate that. Into the ice we go. Tally ho. Ugh. So cold here. I don't know why Cole decided to stay at this village of all places. He could have just come home and fetched me if that's what he wanted, but, you know, some men are just extra difficult, I guess. Who would have thought you'd have to be where lava in the frickin' frozen tundra? Muteville. Oh my god, I'm really nervous. 
I really feel like this is about to be the end of my marriage, and I'm walking right towards it. But I have to know if he really is going to back out, and he needs to know what happened last night. Okay, he didn't say where to meet him at, just at Mute Vale, so maybe if I ask around, someone can point me in the direction of where he's staying? Hello? Oh, don't mind if I do. Can you point me in the direction of where a Mr. Cole has been staying? You know, blonde hair, blue eyes, dark skin. Igloo. Okay, thank you. Hi! You have skin I would only dream of. She does not like me. Okay, well, I guess that's a girl thing, because I did literally nothing to you. Oh, Cole? Hello. Hi. Um, maybe let's, um, talk somewhere private. Where's that igloo you're staying at? Is this it? Okay. You're glad I came. Well, that's great. But the thing is, I'm not here to go with you. If that's what you're thinking. The truth is, I love Sandy. I love being a mother. And no matter what you think, I am Sandy's mother. While you're, you've been gone, it's just been me and Sandy. And it feels real. I can't just walk away from that. Not even for you. You're not going to say anything? Say you'll come home. Say you'll be with me. Tell me you love me enough to give this a real try. Please. I know, I know. It's not just about being with me anymore. It's if you come back, you're gonna have to be a father. You don't have to be a father to Sandy, okay? I took on that burden, as you put it. I, I took that on myself. You don't have to be her dad. But she will be around. You know what? I'm not going to lie to you. Staying with me does mean you're going to be a father. I didn't know if I should tell you this, because it would probably only contribute to the fact that you're going to leave me. But when you left me, turns out when we were on our honeymoon together, something happened. And so when you went on your travels, I was pregnant. Okay, you don't need to stare at me like that, okay? I know. <laughs> I gave birth last night, unexpectedly, just before I got your letter telling me about how much you don't want to be a father. I know, great timing. I don't think I can do this alone, okay? I need you, I need my husband, because whether or not you want to accept it, you're a father and you're a husband, and that means you've got a family, and that means you can't keep running away. Come home with me. Please. He said he needs to sleep on it. That's just what every woman wants to hear after she brings her newborn baby before her husband. And is there anywhere I can sleep? Okay, this house looks unoccupado. Ooh, more onions. Don't mind if I do. Well, this night has been just great.